What's going on everyone? I'm John from 16 Views. I'm a photographer and look, it's all happened. We've all done it. We have all deleted a file off an SD card or a hard drive, USB, whatever it is, on accident. And so right now my highest viewed video on my channel is a video about how to recover files like off an SD card. The thing is the program I use in that video is free. But because it's free, it's a little hit and miss. It seems to work for some people, but others not so much. And another big issue is it doesn't work for Mac. Along with it not working with Mac, the interface was a little clunky, and it might be a little difficult to use for someone who maybe isn't as skilled in using computers. A few weeks ago, Any Recover reached out to me asking if I'd want to make a video about their recovery program. They claimed it was simple, easy to use, the interface was nice and clean, and it worked on Windows and Mac, which is a big thing. Now, they didn't pay me to make this video, no money, you know, changed hands, but they did give me a one month free trial of their paid subscription so I can make this video. They did tell me that they offer a free trial, which lets you recover up to three files, so I think this is good for someone who just deleted one or two, you know, bigger files, or you know, maybe you're someone who just accidentally deleted a file because you misclicked, something like that. You can recover that file for free. One thing you may not know though is deleted files actually slowly degrade over time. So with that being said, when you figure out that you've deleted a file, you want to try to recover it as soon as possible because the longer you wait, the more chance that you're not going to be able to get that file back, or if you do get the file back, it's going to be corrupt and unusable. But now let's go through any recover and see if you should go after the paid subscription if you say deleted more than, you know, three files. I deleted some files off an SD card, and as you can see, it is empty. So now I'm going to show you guys how any recover works. And opening it up, you can see the interface is pretty clean and simple. It just starts with where you want to search for the locations. You can search under the hard drive, so like the SSD of my computer. Uh, you can do a computer crash recovery, so if your computer crashes, this will try to get some of the data back, which I think is kind of a nice feature. But I'm going to go with the external removable devices, and if you plug, you know, an external SSD or hard drive, an SD card, a USB drive, any external storage like that, that's where it's going to show up in EnterCover. So I'm going to go with USB drive D, which is the SD card of deleted files from, and we're going to start it. The speed at which it scans your SD card kind of depends on first how big the SD card is. You know, if it has more storage, it's going to take longer, but also like the read and write speeds of your SD card. This SD card isn't very big, so it didn't take that long. So now let's see if it recovered the photos. So it categorizes the stuff on the SD card um, by like the file types. I only deleted two types of files, photos and videos. So they're all JPEGs and then MP4 files. So I'm going to start under photos and see if it recovered them. So we're going to go under JPEGs. These six photos are at the top are the ones that I deleted. So one of the features that any recover likes to talk about is that you can preview the files before you recover them. But I've noticed that there seems to be like a 10 megabyte limit on the preview. So as you can see, I can preview this image, which was eight megabytes. I can preview this image, which is six and a half. But this image, which is 10.87, it says unable to preview. As you can see, this image is 18 megabytes and it's also unable to preview. So I can't see what those pictures look like unless they're under 10 megabytes, but let's see if it recovers them. So I'm gonna select these six images and then I'm gonna press recover. And then I'm just gonna choose where I want it to go. I'm just gonna put it in the SSD. I'm gonna click okay. It's gonna recover the files. And then one feature that I do kind of like is it takes you exactly where the location is because it didn't really give me a location to save it, you know, in my pictures folder or in my videos folder, just like the SSD, but it does take you to the exact location where those files are. So I'm gonna close all files, photo, JPEGs. And as you can see, these six images are the ones I brought back. So some of these images that even though it couldn't preview because they were over 10 megabytes, it was still able to recover. This one, which I took at the beach is 10.8. This one with a palm tree is 18.4. And then this one with the sun uh, looking through a lens is 11.5. So I wasn't able to preview those, but they are back all in the full resolution. So now let's try it with video files. So I'm gonna go back into nrecover and then go into the videos folder. And this, I only deleted two. So these are the two at the top and it looks like it duplicated them. I'm not really sure why, maybe just a glitch. But these are the two that I recovered at the top. And as you can see, it doesn't support previewing of MP4 files, which kind of sucks, but now let's recover them. So I'm gonna click these two, go to recover. I'm just gonna click on the SSD, click okay. And these will take a little longer to recover just cause you know, they're bigger files. 
So these should be two drone shots I have. Again, it takes you to the location, which I think is kind of an underrated feature. I do like that. So all files, I'm gonna to go to video, mp4 files, and here, these are the two files right here. And so I have this one, which is just looking straight down at an intersection with some cars going by, and then this one, which is over a little beach town in Florida, where I recently just got back from vacation. Let me just make sure that these are both in full resolution. They should be at 1080p, so we're gonna to go to properties, details, and yes, right there, it's at 1080. Now the big question is, you know, do I recommend any recover? I do recommend it. I think it works pretty well. I did have a few busts here and there as I was testing it. You know, like once in a while the file would corrupt and just wouldn't transfer back because I tried it with a ton of different files and a ton of different, you know, photos and videos. And once in a while it would corrupt when transferring it, but I would just run it again and then it would seem to work. So if you do have this, and if something corrupts, I would try running it once or twice more. As for pricing, you can get a one month plan for $50, a one year plan for $60, and a lifetime plan for $80. There looks like to be $20 on sale right now. So I would pick those up, you know, before they go off sale. For how long you want the plan kind of depends on, you know, is this just a one time thing? You know, like did you delete it once and you know, now you're gonna be like more careful deleting files. So then, you know, maybe you only wanna get a one month plan. But if you want to be safe, you want to have this in your arsenal for if it ever happens again, you can get a lifetime plan, which is $80. It's really up to you if you just think you're going to be more careful and only need it once. One thing I don't quite understand is I don't really get why these recovery programs are so expensive. But then again, they are offering like a really helpful tool, you know, recovering deleted files. While I do think like $50 is a lot compared to other programs, it's actually pretty comparable because I've seen others go as high as like, a hundred for like a one month plan, which is insane. Like a hundred dollars for not even like a lifetime plan or something like that. I think it's kind of crazy. And another thing that I do like is they first of all offer the free trial, which you know lets you test it out before you actually buy it. I love when companies give you a free trial of their program, so you're not just kind of buying it blindly. But they also you know give you support, so if something isn't working, you can get support and. They also give you a money back guarantee, so if you're not happy with the program, or if it didn't work for you, you'll get your money back. Which I think is a great safety net, you know, just in case it doesn't work, it just doesn't work for you, or something like that, you can get that money back. So that is my walkthrough and review of Any Recover. I hope this video helped you out, and if you do want to go, you know, download Any Recover, try the free trial, and then purchase, you know, a one month plan or whatever you want, the link will be the first link in the description to their website, so you can download that. It's available on Windows and Mac, which is great. If you did enjoy this video and you know, you're a photographer, a videographer, someone who likes technology, or just anything like that, if you would think about subscribing to my channel, I usually do, you know, like photography, content, tech reviews, that sort of stuff. So if you did give this video a like, subscribe, that would really help me out a lot. I'm John from 16 Views. See ya.